Well, hello and welcome to the second part of the Blender Drivable Car tutorial. Um, it's been delayed quite a bit, um, but because people are still asking, uh, I feel responsible for making this video. So, um, well, I'm going to explain to you now how to get the car moving. Um, this is uh, exactly where we stop. This is uh, the download part. Um, so let's just have a look at the code. Right now uh, the car is moving like this. Um, so what we need to change here in the code is these lines and these lines. We don't actually... yeah we have to change them. I'm going to explain this for you. Um, this value, the first value in the, in the columns here, is how much engine force we apply to the vehicle. So these are 0 and 1, I think these are the front wheels. So this is the wheel number. You see it down here uh, at braking, you have, we have four wheels, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Um, and this is the amount of force for, for, for this here um, that we apply to the, to the vehicle. So if I change it to 100, it should just launch forward if I start the engine. Yes, it does. So what we're gonna do? We want uh, this value to be um, to be variable. So we can go if we if we mark the car, right click on the car so it's outlined. Down here we have the properties. So we can add a property here. It should be float or integer. It's not very n not really uh, important, but I'm gonna choose integer because it's more easy. We can. Um, we can just uh, call it force and then we can access this value in the code by typing now um, I have to think about it it's called cube I think no it's called I think it's called C okay our, our car is called C in code you see it here it's the owner of the controller down here that starts the code in the car you know so we can type here C uh, this uh, column and we our f our uh, variable is called force sorry for me being so um, slow in my brain but it's very late and now this value that we give in here is exactly applied in the code so it's not one again it's this value so we just copy it and paste it here so if we now change the force value down here, we can uh, change the, the amount of acceleration. So now it's zero, the car shouldn't move. If we put it to 12, the car should launch forward. Yes, and if we put it to 5000, physics should freak out. Oh, why is this not possible? Oh, it is. Bam, it's gone. <laughs> okay. So how do we modulate this value uh, while running the game? I'll put it to 1 right now, so it's like in the tutorial. Um, we have to work with, the, with uh, these controllers down here. So this was zooming. I didn't work with Blender for quite a while. It's been more than a year, I think. So first thing, we need to add a keyboard sensor. So we can uh, look what our keyboard is doing. And we need a key. Our key is W, for example, for acceleration. So I press W, click in it, press W. And if we, I can just name it here. So I name it uh, W, so I know which controller it is. If this is closed, it's very, it, it's really better if you do it. So now I need, I'm going to close these. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Um, in the cube, it's very important. The circles are our wheels. But now on the cube, we need to act, add an actuator, and it's a property actuator, because we want to change this property here on the left. So the property force is going to get the value. No, we need to. Yeah, we need to add a value. No, we 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 can assign a value. Sorry. Uh, for example, let's call it ten. You have to you have to change it to your. Um, to your own personal taste later, but just uh, that you know how it works. So change the value to 10. 
and now connect these by click dragging it back here it automatically uh, creates a controller but we don't need it right now so we can close it and now if I press W the car should um, launch I, I change it to zero the car should launch forward but uh, I think it will keep launching forward because if I release W we don't have uh, nothing happens right now so I, I'm gonna test it press P now I press W and it goes forward okay so now we need uh, another statement um, which is not W because if we release the key we want the car to stop accelerating so I'm gonna add another keyboard sensor invert it and do the, do the same here key is W and I'm call it uh, W release and if not W I think I hope it works Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do this tutorial all over again because I um, fucked up again. <laughs> so, property, force, value, zero now. Because if we release the key, we want the value to be zero again. So the car does not accelerate. I hope this works. I'm gonna just try it out. Yes, it does. It does work. Okay, so we, now we can't brake, but you see. Um, if I press the key, the car accelerates, and if I release it, it stops. I press it very shortly. No, it doesn't work. Wait, wait a second. If I press it very, is this a bug? No. Why didn't it work right now? Yeah, I think the physics froze because the wheels are still moving. So this is another thing that I need to address but I'm going to address it later because I don't want to confuse you. So this is um, the acceleration part done. I'm gonna uh, explain, it, explain it again for you. So we have a sensor. It detects if we press the key W which is, uh, which is defined here. Um, if this happens, you go further here over the controller which we don't need right now to, this, uh, to the actuator the actuators are the things that do actually do things and this actuator assigns to the property force the value of 10 so this property force is going to be 10 after we press W and which is directly translates to the code here which puts which would be the same in this moment if we put 10 here because it's this value this is that the same happens um, if we release the key, W release, notice that I uh, push the invert button here, and then the property is assigned to zero. The same we can do now with the braking. The braking here is applied to all four wheels, zero, one, two, and three. So I'm going to add another property, brake. I'm gonna put integer. You can you can later use floats if you like if you want to gradually gradually uh, make the value bigger or anything. But for now this should be enough. So let's break with the key S keyboard sensor S. I'm gonna call it S. Also add an actuator property. The property break should be well, let's try 10. We can change it later. Let's see how our vehicle behaves. Connect it, and this should work. Let's uh, do the other part, the release part, right now. Add a sensor, keyboard sensor, key S. Be sure to click invert. I'm gonna call it S release. Oh, this is, uh, this is not good. This needs to be an uppercase letter. It's very important be tidy. So as release, add an actuator, property, um, property break, nope, property break, it's gonna be zero again. Connect it and right now we should be able to accelerate and break. No, I forgot. If you, if you were um, looking you would uh, know that we need to uh, add the value right down here 
to this part. So I'm just gonna copy it so it's a bit faster down here. Somehow this behaves strange. And call it break. Then copy this and paste it down here, down here, and down here. Now I'm gonna save it in another file, save as tutorial 2, so I don't overwrite it. And we're gonna try if it works by breaking. Somehow I think the blender physics something is very wrong here it works initially you see it I can accelerate I can break but our suspension is is very soft so the vehicle just jerks around and I think the forces are very big so you see <laughs> it's working it's, it's right now it's funny okay um, maybe we, c we uh, now have to stiffen up our suspension and everything, but I'm not going to do this on this video um, because I don't want to drift somewhere. Um, I think I explained now uh, how to accelerate and how to brake. So the only thing you need to know is these are the values that are important. You can apply the engine force to all four wheels, you would just have to um, copy this and oh, be, be sure to have these tabs here it's very important because it's an else statement and it works with tabs here in Python be sure to uh, do it for the other wheels and now you have a four-wheel drive car but I would like to have it like this okay now for the steering it's actually the same because our steering value is here Right now it's uh, it's not active, but if I remove these, it's called Raute in German, I don't know how, how you call it in English. If I remove these uh, signs, the, the code is actually active. And we have a value steer right here, which is outdated, because it's coming from an old Python version. So right now this is wrong. We can uh, add a value steer right here steer left and steer right so I'm gonna add a value you, you you should know right now how this is going how this works add a steer value car steer of course so change this to steer so it right now reads this value here and now you can um, change this value with these logic bricks but I but but you should now know how this works so example for example if, if you press a you put steer to minus 10 y you just have to uh, have to check which values work right now so right now the back wheels are steering no they aren't the car oh okay now the car is going in a corner just fiddle around with it uh, with it a bit maybe it's uh it's actually maybe three years ago I made this in the wrong direction but you should uh, you should figure it out so this is the principle how, how it's working just figure it out okay um, right now I want to just to end this video I want to tell you what is the problem with the car being stuck so if the motion stops the car stops moving and if I accelerate now the car's body is not being calculated by the physics anymore. So, I'm going to go to the physics tab and activate no sleeping right here. It's very important so that uh, the car's body does not stop moving. Um, the computer stops, uh, stops computing the physics for the car's body if it's not moving to save some CPU cycles or anything. So you have, for this important physics object, you have to tick no sleeping. And if I push, press P now, you should see that even if it stopped moving and I press accelerate, it does. So this is very important. So w what you have to do, if you, if you did this, I'm gonna remove it here. No, no, I'm gonna leave it like this. 
Um, I'm going to upload this blend file as it is right now. Um, what you need to figure out is uh, to change the, the values here so that you have a, have a pleasant experience while driving. Maybe change the car's weight, which is here. The mass is right now at 1. Maybe you change it to 200 or anything, or you, or you work with real values. It's no problem. Then uh, and then everything should be should be better right now. If I press W, the force uh, does not even is not enough to accelerate the car, but it shouldn't jerk around so much. So if I change it here to 200, the car should accelerate properly, like this. And now the brakes aren't on top. If I press S, the car doesn't jerk around. So just uh, change the mass. I did it for you, so. Play around with the values and you will get to something that is working and not jerking around. So I'm now gonna end this video, thank you for watching and I hope you are, uh, aren't very mad at me for bringing it out this late. Have a nice day, bye bye.